there. I'm Erin Aid. This is Boom Bust, and these are some of the stories that we're tracking for you today. Wall Street took a beating on the first Monday of 2015. Stocks plummeted amid a crude collapse in Greek drama. I'll tell you what's going down coming right up. Then the CEO of BitNet, John McDonald, he sat down with me earlier to talk about why people should use cryptocurrency instead of their credit cards. Interesting stuff, great conversation. You don't want to miss that. And in today's big deal, Edward Harrison is joining me live from Las Vegas, where he's covering the International Consumer Electronics Show. It's where startups and tech giants alike go to show the world their latest and greatest. And Ed's telling us all about it firsthand. We have an amazing show in store for you today. So let's get to it. The S&P 500 saw its biggest drop since October on Monday. Energy sector stocks led a broad sell-off on Wall Street as crude prices fell to five-and-a-half-year lows and a strong dollar weighed on other commodities. Dow Industrial shed more than 300 points Monday afternoon, while the S&P 500 slid 37 points to 2021 and the Nasdaq declined 67 points. Prices of crude oil futures dropped to their lowest levels since May 2009 amidst a lack of demand and a global glut of supply. Oil fell below $50 a barrel for the first time in nearly six years Monday, sending shares of S&P 500 energy companies tumbling nearly 4%. Now, aside from the positive effect it has on consumers, traders are trying to figure out where the drop in energy will have a negative impact on other sectors of the market. According to security experts, the broad sell-off in stocks is a result of traders knowing where they don't want to be invested before identifying their next buying opportunity. The strength in the U.S. currency is also putting even more pressure on dollar-denominated currencies, excuse me, commodities, such as oil. I mean, in fact, a measure of the dollar against a basket of major currencies hit its highest level since December 2005. 